have any ideas? Any ideas? For we got two chicken eggs in there. Why do people hate on Brian so much? What's going on everyone? I am Hayden with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise today bringing you guys another awesome video because it's gonna be awesome, we already know. Um, wanna start you guys out, take a peek at the chickens. This has become a daily thing, I let them out to graze. We got her laying an egg. She lays brown eggs, she lays brown eggs, and then this is a hybrid Easter egg, or actually, lays green eggs. But uh, yeah, just let them out to uh, graze a little bit, but Guys, thank you for clicking on the video today. Um, today is gonna be kind of one of those videos where we're in my office, you know? We're gonna be in my office having a uh, conversation about a topic that uh, is kind of weird. Um, but as you guys saw in the title, we're gonna be talking about Brian Barcheck today, who he is a little bit and the hate that he receives. Um, I'm gonna start the video out We've got a couple topics I want to touch on about Brian Barchek. But first things first, guys, I love Brian. He is absolutely awesome. If you know him somehow, send him this video. I'd love to get his comment on this video and see what he thinks and get some more positivity sent his way. But I've got a couple things I want to touch on in this video, uh, basically responding to his video, talking about all the hate he receives and the hate that exists out in the world uh, towards him as a reptile keeper and honestly just as a person. People really hate him and... It's kind of silly because there's, we're gonna talk about it a little bit, Facebook groups, um, messages, comments, things like that that he gets on a daily basis, honestly. So we're gonna talk a little bit about his video, kind of go over a couple points he went over there. Um, but I know why you guys are here. You guys wanna see tortoises. So let's show you the tortoises. This is my big female. Guys, if you have any ideas, any ideas for names on these? If you recognize a specific one because you've been here that long, let me know what you guys think. We'll get the, we'll get some names on these, but this is uh, one of the biggest female albinos that we have here. That's a male right there. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and mention this in every video that I make. And where this tortoise is pyramided, go ahead and watch the other video. I don't know how to like tag it and stuff, but I may put it at the end credits. If you wanna see about this tortoise's pyramiding and some of the other tortoises I have here pyramiding, um, go watch that video, I explain everything. So go ahead and take a peek at that. But anywho, look at the pond guys. Um, it has been getting really hot here. The fish are doing great. Um, can't really see the tortoise, turtles down there, but um, I've got a major algae problem. So I'm gonna be working on getting some pond plants to basically cover the surface, eat the nitrates in the water, but tortoises are doing great. And uh, see you guys in a second, in the office. Alrighty guys, welcome to my office. Um, I'll turn this way, I think the lighting should be fine. But what I wanted to talk about today, I'm gonna try and get you guys some visuals on the tortoise while we're chatting. Um, Brian receives so much hate. He talks about it in his video. Um, and honestly, he poses the question, why do people hate him? He's got a history of, in the past, uh, handling reptiles in a way that people weren't a fan of. Um, you know, he was he was kind of one of the first guys doing, you know, a social media version of reptiles with YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And and uh, it's one of those things where, you know, YouTubers now are kind of like celebrities. They're always in the in the light and whatever they do get scrutinized. So um, I have no judgments on him. We're all learning as we go. I'm learning a ton with these tortoises each and every day. Um, and with my animals, my dogs, my chickens, everything to try and make their lives better. My opinions are changing on things. Um, but anywho, there's literally a Facebook group out there. I don't know what it's called. I've seen it once before, but basically these people talk about how much they hate Brian. And they're like a community of people. Like they get along with each other, they're best friends, and they all just thrive together on their hate for Brian. If you guys spend like, if you're questioning him, spend two weeks watching his videos. This dude, I don't know how he's so positive, number one, um, with everything going on. And number two, he's a grinder. He works so freaking hard. I struggle to upload one video a week, and he uploads a freaking video every day. I know he's got help and all that, but just being behind the camera that much, I mean, that's freaking tough. So uh, definitely a huge shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, it's super silly. There's Facebook groups out there that hate him, and it just makes absolutely zero sense to me. Um, 
but nonetheless, a lot of people give him a lot of hate as well because they uh, they see him with hundreds of animals, right? He's got tons and tons of animals, mostly snakes, lizards, uh, a couple turtles, a couple tortoises, whatever, but most people think that he's doing all this for the fame and the fortune, right? This makes me laugh so hard because I'm a car guy myself. Uh, Brian drives an old Chevy pickup truck. It's probably worth like $6,000 at this point. Like, guys, if he was after the fame and the fortune, he would not be driving a $6,000 truck. And the honest truth is, is he can afford a brand new $80,000 truck. Like, he can. He could buy whatever vehicle he wants. I'm sure he'd go buy a Lamborghini if he wanted to, honestly. Um, Three million followers on, U on YouTube and uh, the production of animals that he produces, even with his employees and staff, he makes plenty of money. He's in a really good situation. If it was really for fame and fortune, he would be doing a lot of different things to get that attention. His daily vlogs, I don't in any way see him doing it, trying to get attention. Um, his vlogs are educational, they're entertaining. Um, he made a goal to upload a daily vlog and he's keeping to that goal and it keeps him true to himself. And I think that's absolutely awesome. Is he making a lot of money along the way? Heck yes, I hope he's making a lot of money. I hope he's making millions and honestly, I think he probably is. I could be completely wrong, I don't know. But uh, just based on what my thoughts are with everything, he's making really good money. He's gonna have a great retirement and uh, be able to really enjoy his life. And he does what he loves every day of the week. So I'm super jealous of him, but guys, he's not doing this for the fame and the fortune by any means. Um, his wife, he got his wife a new car. I've been following the blog for like three years now. Got our new car maybe a year or two ago. It's a really nice car, but it's not a brand new $90,000 luxury SUV by any means, which they could afford. Um, it's a really nice car though, and they enjoy it, and that's not what makes them happy. Material things aren't what make them happy. Um, do they have a gorgeous house? Sure, in the Christmas vlogs and other times, you see their house. Their house is absolutely gorgeous, but they've hooked their tails off for years and years to be able to afford that house, and uh, they totally deserve it. But is it a $3 million mansion? No, it's not. Are they these YouTubers wearing all sorts of fancy clothes and jewelry and cars and showing their houses off and going on extravagant vacations? No. Anytime he goes on a trip, it's visiting friends or uh, expanding his his knowledge about reptiles and just expanding that experience for himself. Um, so that is, I had to make sure I was recording because I've made that mistake a lot. I'm recording. Um, but anywho, that's, fame and fortune is not what he's about. Um, just look at these gorgeous tortoises. Sophie. Anywho, done with that subject. He's not doing this for fame and fortune. So uh, I just told you guys that chicken went into lay. We got two chicken eggs in there. She laid one, now she's filling up on some feeder food. And there was already an egg in there, apparently she laid on top of. The other two, it's really weird. I don't know chickens very well, but they just like bury themselves in the dirt. But anywho, back to the office. So in reality, guys, why do people hate on Brian so much? Um, they're just uncomfortable with themselves. I'm sure Brian's not the only person they're hating on on the internet. I'm sure they go into other people's videos and they talk hatred about a whole bunch of other people. These people are just really uncomfortable with themselves and the lifestyle that they've chosen to live. And uh, it's pretty sad, but it's just really funny because one, one of the things Brian talks about is people always say, oh, he uses clickbait titles and he does. It's, they're sensational titles, right? They might be clickbaity, but that's YouTube. That's just the name of the game. I mean, it's it's you gotta get people to click on your video somehow, so it is what it is. Um, but they, they talk about how he clickbaits and then they go and use his profile pictures and and his videos and all that to kind of get clickbaity. And he even suggests in his video, which is why I'm making this video, if you wanna put out good content, happy, healthy stuff, um, use my use my face, right? And I just wanted to respond to this to get more positivity out there about Brian, because I think he's absolutely awesome. Um, been a huge inspiration to me to, to really get all of this started, honestly. I started watching it about three years ago. I grew up raising these tortoises as a kid and didn't have them for a really large part of my life, but watching his videos helped me see the value in reptiles and uh, has really helped me pursue my passion of, of owning reptiles. And I hope when we get more space, I can get even more turtles, more tortoises. Uh, I hope to be able to get a monitor lizard someday. I mean, I really have these lofty goals of, uh, of owning more animals because I absolutely love it. They bring me so much joy and, uh, you know, it's, it's not work to me being able to take care of these animals, scoop and poop and whatever it is. Um, but anywho, uh, 
that's one of the reasons he gets a lot of flack. Um, one of the things that I like to quote from his video, if you guys want to go watch that video, um, I'll probably put the link down below. But basically what he says is, don't let people rent space in your head for free. So he says this because, you know, the hate used to really affect him. And he said, you know, it's one of those things he just had to learn to accept it. And now it doesn't really bug him. He's over it. He's accepted it. And he doesn't really get bothered by it because you can't let that negativity sit inside your head. And honestly, the people who go and comment negative stuff on his videos, all they do is help the traffic to his videos, which is so it's kind of funny. It's kind of got the opposite effect. Um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> It's just really, really interesting the, the, the behavior he receives, but he's learned to cope with it and deal with it over the years and it doesn't even bug him because like you said, he feels sorry for those people who who want to get on the internet and just hate and hate and hate all day long. Those people have to be so unhappy. Um, but I hope this video is not too boring for you guys. I'm not trying to be too, too boring, um, but just really want to talk about this. Uh, I'm probably going to wrap this video up pretty quick. We may get some more footage of the tortoises and stuff here, but I wanted to make this video because I really enjoy his videos. I watch every single vlog every single day of the week. Like I literally look forward to it. And uh, if you don't know who Brian Barczyk is, you're probably really confused. Go look him up, go watch his channel. He's a huge inspiration to me and honestly, a huge reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I always have loved tortoises, but uh, the whole YouTube side of things and uh, education and uh, just having this awesome collection of animals that I love so much and enjoy. He's been a huge inspiration to me. Um, so again, if any of you guys know Brian or Brian, if you happen to watch this video, um, I appreciate you. But anywho, I'm planning on going to see his reptile zoo here sometime before June is the goal. Um, so I'll definitely get some video footage of that. And you know I'm going to be posting a couple of videos on it. But honestly, it's something I've been wanting to do for over a year now. And I'm definitely doing it this year. Going to do a private tour with Brian and uh, definitely visit the Reptarium and uh, see whatever we can see there in Michigan. So I'm pretty excited about that. But nonetheless, guys, let's spread positivity out there. Um, if you can share this video, get more positivity out there about Brian, um, that would be absolutely awesome. He deserves all the positivity in the world. He's a super positive guy, spreads positivity every day. Um, you know, he says every single morning, Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. It's just one of those things, it's just, he's a bright, cheery guy. And uh, I think, hey, look, there I am. Hello. Um, but anywho, guys, I'll ask this one more time. If any of you guys know Brian, go send this video to him. I'd love to get his comments on it, because I'm gonna go out and visit him. So we're gonna become best friends here when I go to visit him in a couple months. But uh, nonetheless, sorry if this video was boring for a lot of you guys, I'm sure it's gonna be boring. Um, but appreciate you guys stopping by. Definitely go like and subscribe to to this video um i appreciate the support we're growing quick my video last week did really good got like a thousand views in a matter of like two or three days so appreciate the growth um over 85 percent of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed so please go click the subscription button show me some love help me get to a thousand subscribers this year we're almost at 300 um but that is definitely going to wrap up today's video if you got something you want to see in specific uh here at my reptile reptile farm um let me know i'd love to make videos i got a small audience right now so i'm willing to make whatever videos you guys want to see if you want to see the chickens more if you want to see more about the tortoises if you want me to do something fun with the turtles whatever it is i'll take care of it for you guys but anywho i'm hayden state 48 turtle and tortoise as always um have a great day appreciate it we'll catch you guys next time next friday